What's up everybody? It's another day in paradise. James here and we are going to do something new. So I usually make guitar covers and I did a couple of, you know, daily vlogs and it just wasn't, you know, working out. I still do the guitar covers. Uh, I just haven't uploaded anything. Uh, just really haven't had a desire to. But I decided to do something a little bit different. Now for those of y'all that actually watch my channel and whoever comes and watches my channel from here on out, uh, I am a truck driver. I was over the road, but I came home due to family and uh, I have become a log truck driver. So I drive for uh, the timber industry now. But basically, I've been getting into a lot of DIYs. So, you know, do-it-yourself kind of things. And, well, I've decided to do something a little bit different. And that is why I did this, which will either be one of the biggest mistakes or one of the most awesome things I ever did. But I went and bought a water box in. Now, don't get me wrong. This water box in is not new, okay? Not new in the slightest. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't even know how old it is. Uh, basically, I paid 100 bucks for it. Uh, it's got a lot of damage. I am going to try to fiberglass it. Now, I have experience with Bondo with, uh, you know, cars and trucks and, you know, miscellaneous things here and there. But I've never truly uh, did fiberglass. Uh, I don't think it's going to be much of a challenge. Uh, it is a little bit different, but it should still be manageable. But the story is, my, uh, my air conditioner, uh, oh, and by the way, if you can't tell, uh, my trunk's open, so if something falls out, I hope you're not behind me. But the deal is, was I had some AC problems in, uh, in my log truck. So it turned out that I needed a new compressor, a new uh, dryer, new expansion valve, but I'm also going to need a new evaporator, which we're waiting, and I just said to hell that I cannot sit for more than a day without doing something, and I'm not losing all money, especially right now with this pandemic, you got to have everything you possibly get, but I noticed something over to the side when I went and picked up my truck this morning to go to work, and I walked over, and this is all at this guy's shop, by the way. So I walked over and I noticed this, this moccasin right here. And I proceeded to ask the gentleman who, you know, owned it, you know, hey, you know, what's wrong with this thing? Because there was a bunch of leaves in it and whatnot. So I really couldn't see inside of it. And it was sitting, you know, bottom down. So it's not like it was leaning up and I could see damage. So the guy had stated that, you know, his son, which we've all done something like this. Uh, I have yet to do something like this, but don't put it past me. But his son was going to go pond fishing and decided to drag it on his belly down the road on a four-wheeler. <laughs> so, as you can imagine, there's a good bit of fiberglass problem. Which, honestly, there's both sides, which I'll, I will take pictures of all the damages and try to post them or a video and post it. And I'm going to, you know, do sections, you know, basically just updating, you know, exactly what I'm doing. And maybe when it's done, I might be able to upload like a full video. But uh, there are on both sides, there is serious damage. I'll probably say about a quarter inch wide uh, gash on both sides of the bottom towards the wall. Uh, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. I should be able to fiberglass that with no issue. Uh, the bottom has a lot of scraping, but the sides and the top are pretty good. They're they're not uh, they're not too much damage, so uh, I don't think it's going to be that bad. But basically, what I'm going to do is is I'm going to fire I'm going to refiberglass the bottom. Okay, refiberglass the bottom. Probably going to put a flooring on the inside, put a new seat. Uh, I am going to paint the bottom black. And after I do the filler and the primer, I'm going to paint the bottom black, and then I'm going to do a red with a black metal flake for the top and the insides, you know, where the snub rail is and whatnot. And uh, I'm gonna put a trolling motor on it and we are gonna make this for my son. Now, people who know me that watch my channel are going like, James, your son's like, you know, two and a half, he'll be three this year. And uh, basically what I'm gonna tell him is, you start early. I want my son to have something nice. Now, of course, I'm not gonna allow my son to go out by himself, Jesus Christ. Uh, he can barely ride a bicycle right now. But 
I would love to be able to go out in with this, uh, go in, out in something like this with them. Because see, I have a 16 foot all weld, uh, 16 foot all weld with a 50 horse mercury on it that me and him go out and go fishing, go look at alligators all the time out on the lake. I also have a kayak, which he likes, but I don't like how low it sits and it's not that wide. So uh, basically he has to sit in my lap. There is no standing. It's a sports kayak. So, you know, it's, ju it's just big enough for a human being, like just uh, an average human being and maybe a child because before him, it was uh, my dog, Winry. But he loves riding in that kayak. So I've decided that I am gonna restore this and I'm gonna make it for him. And hopefully if it works out and he gets older, he could have it for himself. And I guess it would be great because I'm not gonna lie, to be able to make something like this for him work, I mean, that would be epic. Uh, but this also is gonna work into future videos because not only am I gonna start doing uh, restorations and repairs on stuff like this, like boats and you know other things, but this is also gonna be an experiment for my all weld. My all weld is matte gray. And uh, basically I wanna do a metal flake on it and I want to rhino the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to experiment with this as I'm working on it. And uh, in the process, if I feel like that, you know, I can do it, then I'm actually going to do my whole boat. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Check in for future posts and uh, y'all have a nice day.